Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastage of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to be checking out Apex Legends on the PS4. This is actually a Battle Royale styled shooter coming from the creators of Titanfall 2 Respawn Entertainment. And what we've been doing is going through a series of each of the characters, the legends that are available from the start of the game. We've actually done a fair number of them so far, and we're actually onto our edge, Lord Quaeus. Wraith. <laughs> so every game has to have the die, die, die character, I imagine. And this is going to be our visual representation for that, I think. Uh, I don't know much about this character. I'm looking forward to actually checking out more about them. Um, it appears that we actually got onto the actual assault characters. We've already done tactical supports and defense and trackers. Uh, this is actually all about the big gun. Ones that are actually here to do damage as much as humanly possible, I imagine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go through all of the legendary costume. We'll go through all of the main costume. See what we can learn about the character's personality. Because this is actually a like hero shooter. It plays more like uh, Overwatch than it would PUBG or um, Fortnite. Where each of the characters do have personalities and have a particular set of skills. So, what I want to know is where these skills come from. Where these characters come from. Learn a little bit more about them. So we're actually going to work our way through the costumes, we'll work our way through their quotes, and we'll work our way through their finishers and see what we can glean from the character and also what I would personally pick as my loadout as I go through them. These characters have got a video up so far, so feel free to check out the annotation in the video above. And let's just jump in through these as best and as quickly and as precisely and as gleefully as we humanly can. Right, so the first one, the Liberator. Hi, Cole. Um, this is literally Cole from... Infamous, right? Lady Cole? Cool? <laughs> All right, um, no, I like the design of the costume. Uh, straight jacketed kind of thing, straps hanging down from it. Um, glowy hand looks angry. Bald head. This is, I, like, this is actually a cool character design. I like it a lot. Looking, is that actually exposed leg and are the legs scarred? Or just dirty? I don't know what it was, but yeah, leather pants, looks good. I'm liking the design of the character, but it does look so much like Cole from um, Infamous to me. So, yeah, that that looks pretty badass. Um, all in white, too. Uh, so I'm assuming this is actually good Cole. Looking for the blue eyes or is it the red eyes? Don't know which one it is. Um, let's jump into the Vengeance, for instance. Yep, Dark Cole. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Light Cole and Dark Cole. Um, but yeah, I actually like the band of the ear. I actually like the back suit. That's our, like, their jetpacks. Each character has their own similar one. Uh, the red and black design. I'm liking this one more than the first one. Um, definitely. Oh, do you know how else it looks like? It looks like Star Killer, isn't it? From um, Force Unleashed. So we've actually had a couple of Star Wars references so far. We've actually had one of the other characters have a dark side, light side, Millennium Falcon thing going on. Same thing with this Liberator and Vengeance Seeker. It's Star Killer from um, Forces Unleashed. I'm like, I'm getting the references here, folks. I'm liking them. I'm liking them. I'm getting them spot up here, but uh, I'm bored with that. That's pretty cool. All right. I mean. Even the, the jacket looks cooler on this one. Uh, more, I'm so much more on board with this costume than I actually am with the um, other one. It does almost feel like it's... Is that actually almost like maybe like a parachute jumpsuit? Or a flight suit of some sort that the strapping's coming from? Because it actually like straps down over the body and around. Probably part and parcel of the actual jetpack that she wears because it's such a smaller one. Uh, anyway, thoughts, minds, memory. Like, like, I'm, I'm working on the characters' designs. What am I learning from them as I look at them? Uh, 14722. Holy shit, that looks cool. Yeah, I actually, I love the rib design on the actual pant legs. Uh, the boots look cool as fuck. It looks armored. And I like the way all the strapping works for it. And then the, the face mask. And the creepy as fuck eyes. Yeah, do you know what? Character's got some awesome, awesome legendary costumes here. And uh, with Quarantine 722, um, I'm assuming this is actually meant to be like almost like a prison suit. Maybe? But um, yeah, also I imagine this fits really well with a couple of the um, like Lifelines character skins. But yeah, solid white. I'm assuming the other one's going to be an inverted black, exactly like this one maybe. Uh, or maybe purple, purple purple and black. Are we taking bets on this? But I love, I love the costume so far. The legendary ones all look great for this girl. Holy shit, did I call that or what? Purple and black. <laughs> well, pink and black, close enough. It's similar. But yeah, uh, Void Specialist. I'm liking it. I, the fact the face mask is actually done pinkish color as well. Yeah, I'm on board with that character design. I like it a lot. So any one of the four legendaries are badass as hell. I'm on board with any of those. All look good to me. 
Yeah, it's just the it's this is such a sneak suit kind of um like assassin's design. Like this would be a really cool like cyborg Melina thing that they could do. I, I, I made a reference a couple of other times about Mortal Kombat while during these videos. But yeah, that'd be an interesting cyber Melina. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. Especially with that gloved terrifying hand. You know, that reminds me of what do you call it from Mass Effect? Um the one that was tested upon that had the really high force powers or like the the superpowers. Can't remember her name, but she was so covered in tattoos and like plugs and stuff. Love the character design, but um, imagine that costume on her. Badass. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, holographic ones. Because uh, every character in the game so far has actually had a costume design that has then a lower layer done with a holographic pattern material. And then that's actually similar to their original costume, but then just with a color pattern over the top of it. Dang! I actually just like the iridescent blue on the actual shoulder pads and stuff on this guy on her default costume and you know what with the the whole idea of her actually having like the the powered up arm the void power running through her i like the actual pattern moving down through so fiber optics damn immediately sold on that as an actual costume power for her it it just works appropriately especially with the oak as well yeah Wraith, you, you look good you look good demon hunter again summer in design Works really well. She's got the, she's got good space for where the pattern can work, work its way down. Like it just seems to travel and weighs down through, and looks really well going all the way from the top to the legs. Yep, yeah. I'm on board. I'm actually liking this character design more and more as I go through them. Back the system, the lime green one for most people. Um, doesn't look as good on her. I don't know how the pattern doesn't work really well on this space here around the actual midriff and the chest. Um, looks good in the butt though. But the um, not too sure. I'm, I'm not, this one I'm not as massively fussed on. The green doesn't work as well, especially even with the uh, vivid green. It, lo it looks like a, to be honest, a Power Ranger villain. It looks like Raider Repulsor's the little sister. Heat Sink works on her though. Uh, the tarnished kind of like bronzy kind of thing going on, and the heat pattern sparkling through. Finally, a character that I there's two characters I've actually seen so far that this works on, and this one works pretty well. Like it, okay. Your own net. Yes. Yes. It's just it's just because there's actually the where the position of the spaces are, it just is constantly moving. There's always a spot of like large active colour and movement on her. I mean the it's on the garish side. Also the fact the pattern just kinda of like condenses at her vagina. Like I mean that's I don't think gonna I'm only noticing that now. And right, moving on. Uh checkered past. So uh, the same costumes, anything goes into these uncommon ones are all going to be just static patterns applied over a lot of the skin. This is one of those characters that actually has a lot of space to actually be filled with it. So some of these patterns are going to look great, some of them are not going to look as well, but um, I actually am a big fan of these, kind of like any ones that have a full wrap around that is on a lot of the body. Some of these will look fantastic, this one does not. Yep, full soldier gear. Um, I think it's a little bit much on her, uh, but the cloak does disrupt it enough to make it uh, reasonable looking. Self organized. Didn't like this pattern on Lifeline either, but mm, yeah, it's, it just doesn't work for me. Uh, I just don't like, I don't, I haven't seen a pattern that, that work well in a pattern. I think it's just a bit too much in some places. Tropic Streak, same as the uh, camo one, kind of works really well just for the fact that it's a full body suit. Uh, very solid snake looking. Like essentially, some of these characters that actually have the full body wrap around, very solid snake. Head trip. Not so much on her. It feels a bit too bubblegummy, is the best way to describe it, maybe? Like, it's like, um, I was trying to look very serious, and then I chose the wrong color pattern. Doesn't really work for me. Hey, frequency. Fucking cool. All right, so that's a technopath of some sort, imagine, and actually looks at the design of. Um, I actually like the way that works on the costume body. I will wrap around really well. Circuit diagrams. Pretty cool. Desert Scorpion, again, literally could be just a soldier from Metal Gear Solid 5. That's a, any of these ones are going to just look like that on her. Um, just looks like a insurgent kind of costume, you know. Bloodline, nice. This finally looks good on somebody. That's a legacy of Kane costume if I've ever seen one. Um, yeah, it works for me. Like I said, you a bloody ninja. That's what it looks like to me. Like bloody medieval ninja, I suppose. <laughs> I'm on board with that, works for me. Guild of Justice. Low snake again. <laughs> How's it going? You look like one of the soldier ladies from Metal Gear Solid 4 this time. 
But fair play to you. Nope, 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 nope. Don't do spiders. Not a fan. Um, costume looks good. I mean, essentially, it's a cool pattern on her. And I th it looks like, I think this is a unique pattern for her. Because I haven't seen it on anybody else yet. But, um, no. Freaked out. Don't like spiders. Moving on. Uh, Warlord looks reasonably good. And the pattern of the straps and everything kind of breaks up that red and black enough. I wouldn't choose it as a first choice, but not a bit scarlet spidery, if anything. But yeah, I'm not. And I mean, the new scarlet spider, the one that's too much red. On a black costume. It just doesn't work for me. Um, I wouldn't choose this one myself. But it looks interesting. Perfect Storm. Suitable. Um, I really, really wish this was like an animated pattern one. This one would be so appropriate. Like, if that's if that's her void arm, and then this was actually animated as well, just to kind of pass it through. I mean, it'll look fantastic on the banner cards whenever we do those. But yeah, otherwise, uh, I like it, but I wish it was animated. Red petals, um, optional costume for people who just want to have a little bit more nature. But uh, I'm I'm not massively enamored with it. Like the flower petal ones have worked for most people so far. This one definitely feels... They, a lot of her costumes just feel like alternate costumes that you've never been in. Especially Metal Gear Solid 3. I mean, you had like dozens of patterns that just like, I'm not even going to use that. I don't know if I ever need that. Disruptor. Um, again, another Solid Snake costume. Looks pretty cool. But um, probably wouldn't choose that one myself. It looks like the lizard skin quite well. I rule decree. I hate it. Thanks. I hate it. And I actually like the purple ones. But I don't like this one. No thanks. No. I'm good without. I'll survive without this one. I'll be okay. Ooh, right now we're on to the base ones. And some of these are going to look fantastic just for the fact they're being simple color swaps. Yeah, she just looks good in black. Um, Edgelord black works well for her. Black on black, black on white. And I actually like the fact that the white stripe kind of make, reminds me that it's meant to be having like almost a gi shape underneath. So yeah, on board. Definitely like it. Right, um, Cardinal. Interesting. If this is what they're uh, they're going to be changing this for each one of the um, colors on the under on the on this tier. Arctic looks fantastic. Like that one works well. The white solid white on the black works well. But the rest of these are going to be some better, some worse. It just looks like color swap ninjas to me. That's what it feels like. All these are actually not too bad. Um, Fortune, do like the purple, but um, Mingo, yeah. Clear water. All of these look reasonably well. This is a costume that actually works with the color accent because of it being it is solid black, with very very little color, and um, the padding you know, works reasonably well because it is literally a, kept to the padding. It's kept to every single like structural padding bit that she wears on her back and her sleeves and her shoulder and her arms. Like, everything seems to actually be consistently. It, it, it's the right thing to be recoloring. You know, sometimes you actually have you had three colors to choose from the recolor. They might choose the wrong one. This one works really well with the recolors. It doesn't matter which one. They're all exactly the same. <clears throat> so frames. Like her pose in the default frame. Um, I just like. I just think it's a cool kind of like void. Literally, it's just her popping back out of the void. It's like that moment. And the look looks really cool. But let's see what the animated ones look like. Okay. Heather to the Madness. Um, oh, shit. That's cool. I like that. Whenever it switches from demon faces to normal face. That's really nice. I love the color on that one as well. So the, she literally is just fucking bamfing into hell, is she? Like this one, it feels like magic or like Nightcrawler's bamf. Whenever she goes into the void, it's like the realm of darkness and Satan. Good tone, works really well. Interesting. And even leaving the madhouse. So the tonally, are they essentially saying that Wraith is actually a bit crazy herself? Because she does look it. She looks like the kind of character that actually has gone a little bit past the deep end and is just like, I'm here to kill. 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 We'll know that in the quips, but that's what they're describing so far with the actual imagery. Ooh, Anya Mask. <laughs> Whenever that switches to red, it looks a little too much like him from um, Powerpuff Girls. I like it, but it's, 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 it's kind of it makes me It makes me giggle a little bit. I love the design, pedals and everything. Japanese hell. Asian hell. Yeah, all these are dark, broody, edgelordy. This is like that's the crow essentially. I like that design. 
Even, even with this basic image in the background, any one of these would look awesome. I'm gonna go for some of the static ones now. We've got some basic color patterns, like the green looks good on her. Like that one, pretty cool. Uh, even even for a simple kind of like un, uh, uncommon one, the color cast on, on the character and the pose looks great along with the actual edge, sharp, edge sharpening. Nine Knives going full ninja. Bound and strapped down. If that's all bright green under light. It looks great. I wouldn't mind seeing what the other color, what the other poses look like with that. And again, with blue in that one. I don't like the creatures in the background of this one. Simple spirits. Quick waves. Ripe. And acid. Acid rain one looks cool as well with a very heavy green cast on the character model. Right. Onto the poses. <coughs> Window to the soul. As yes, you get a chance to look at her eyes, and that's creepy enough as it is. Window to the soul. She looks into your soul, and she finds it lacking. Ah, oh, okay. So yeah, like it's this uh, threat of violence, but it's actually it's the quick pull down that kind of like just her uh, top it's, a, it's an extra unneeded movement but actually being flat weapon flick weapon flick weapon flick and then like a smirk with the, the blade out in hand it would actually be lacking but it's actually the little fix of the collar forehand all right the, the nice little touches the car they, they're really trying to articulate them through little movements and i actually like that for these characters so all the madness but still human damn there's a kung fu uh, there's our ninja. Like, that's what the ninja one fits perfectly with that. Especially, in fact, you would use that one and see this big spot here. That's exactly where the Anya mask would be on the other one, the devil mask. Some of these are designed to really go well together. Okay. <laughs> that one was. That's not so great. It's a very simple pose, but um, I can understand. Um, some of them might not, people won't look at the ones that are too long. That one's simple and fast, but it's a interesting, powerful look. Nice. Strapped up with a gun, ready to rock and roll. I like the poses uh, that are actually for this character. Yeah, they all look like good action poses just because the costume looks great on the, in any freeze frame. I'm wondering what the lighting would look like if you switch between them. Butt shot! <laughs> no butt shot because actually it's green covered over by the jump thing, but that's, that is the turnaround butt shot. Can before the storm, blades and guns. Like this looks like this character should have been in Shadow Warriors 2, to be honest. <laughs> like the pose, come at me, all threatening. Mind games, I'm gonna fuck with your head. Gone in the blink of an eye. That that literally is that that's Kirby hand level stuff that's going on here. That Kirby hand should be a little bit further up and a little bit closer to camera, but I'm on board. Oh, before the rift actually pops, and essentially force him to like, essentially summon him from inside her. That looks painful. And the madness kicks in again. And she's at the ready. I like all of these. These are all fantastic. And there are actually some some of them feel like they don't tell character life. This one actually all of these tell you something about the character. I don't like it. Um personally, I'm actually liking the multi-dimensional one a lot more than the like, first on first view. I like this one the best. It's, it's it's simple, but it's actually it's a, a little character moment. Right, let's get through these audio clips. Follow my path to win. Okay. I don't fear anything. Can you say the same? Creepy voice. Pain, death, nothing phases me. There's a thin line between life and death. Find me there. <laughs> I thought she was going to say, there's a thin line between life and death, and I'm it. <laughs> Try not to blink. You may miss me. Just a step in the right direction. Another day, another road. Every decision counts. Good choice for me. I saw this coming. I'll take you down more than once. I'm here today. Let's do this. I've been here one too many times. I'm quick, and I'll finish this. It's my turn this time. I know more than you'll ever know. You don't get here by sitting around doing nothing. There's something wrong with your head if you fight me. 
Trust just your eyes and you'll lose. Wanna win? Do what I do. That is an amazing level of confidence and character. I actually like every little step of that. The whisperiness of the voice and stuff. Like that that's all cool little steps. Um, yeah. Being the like, you know you end up having those typical dark characters that actually just like kill, kill, kill. Uh, like that's even then this character actually has a bit more depth than that. It's almost like um, you're listening to a prophet or a soothsayer or you know, one of those kind of like characters. Character doesn't know things before they really should. And that's why they're actually crazy because essentially they've got a whole Cassandra syndrome thing going on. Well, let's just say a little birdie told me all about you. Can't catch what you can't see. Caught you. Don't blame yourself. Every decision counts. I caught the wind this time. I knew this end would come. I knew your every. I can read move. your mind. You have not saved often. <laughs> Is Psycho Man this shit going on here? I saw this coming a mile away. I'd say try better. I've seen this all before. I know if we fought together, things would be different. In another life, this may have been different. Maybe in another time or space, you killed me, but not this one. Like in this, like in this, I hold, uh, you know what? It's all just a matter of. It's deja vu with you fighters. Knowledge is power and pain. See, every all these lines are actually playing into what I thought in my head. Listen to everything and you can win. Looking for me? Here I am. A match like this is much more than shooting a gun. There were multiple ways this could end. I chose this one. I chose this one. Not today. Now you see me. I guess I was just one step ahead of you. Each one gets me one step closer to what I want. Shoot this. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you don't. Step quieter next time. Surprise. 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 I was hoping for like a surprise, like a really out upbeat one, but no. This was the outcome this time. The road each. This was the outcome this time. It's just the way it is. The way it is. The road you chose has ended here. Don't worry. There was no way out of this. I saw it. This didn't have to happen. But it did. This is where it ends. Too slow. We all have our reasons. Don't take this personally. Okay. This is what happens when you're not focused. You challenged the wrong person. Be honest. You knew this would end here. Right. You lost this time. Your choice is pointless. None of this matters. I'm liking all the voice lines in this because it, it, there's a resignation and coldness to the character that actually works really well. Not that it's actually like aggressive or anything. It's literally just like this was never ever end your way. And if you're playing with that liner, it's always to be the case. I like the concept that the Void Walker actually literally has already seen themselves die half a dozen times in different ways. Oh, okay. Teleport punch. Boom. I like that. I actually like, momentary argument with herself. Teleport out and bam, in and gone. All right, I like that one. Ooh, damn! Holy shit! I love that. That's full on nightcrawler shit right there. Yes. Headbutt, backslash, and fucking stomp on your goddamn face. Oh, dude, love that. That's awesome. I like. I like every step of this. Uh, this is like the momentary slowdown just to show how quickly she's porting from place to place too. Doosh. Oh, there's, there's a lot of force in that head at the very end too. Uh, I'm loving the finishers. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> he just fires your ass right into the fucking void. <laughs> okay, I like that one. I'm on board with that. Um, I actually like the effect of that. I prefer the existential crisis because that is it's fucking brutal but the into the light is actually pretty cool just a, that's super appropriate for characters like 
this is where it ends. It matters on the line you would actually choose for the kill as well would be pretty nice. But um, yeah, like I'm, I'm like every everything about this character, I like him. So far, I'm really enjoying the legends that we actually have available to us in the game. So every single one of them actually do feel unique and characterized, and I'm actually on board and I'm seeing what they're doing. I think they've got, they, they, I think they've hit the right note. They're doing legends. These guys do feel like they are a legend for a reason. So I'm on board with this. Um, so yeah, race uh, powers, active powers, voices from the void. You hear a voice when danger approaches. As far as you can tell, it's on your side. I have th this is actually something that I've wanted to see done be done in a game for a long ass time, um, but I haven't seen it actually actively be done. We have positional audio. We play games. People play games with headphones on all the time to actually get an audible cue. Like literally, it's like bye. You actually have a game literally just give you a heads up. I like this idea. I'm curious how well it works. I would like to know from people who play as Wraith. If you play as Wraith in this game, how effective is the passive voice from the void? I'm going to play a couple of rounds, but I, I'm, I'm in, a, in the least appropriate setup. I have a terrible TV, which has shitty sound. I do not play with um, headphones on whenever I'm playing, specifically if I'm capturing as well, because it would actually take the audio away. I don't have a splitter setup for the audio. I just have a splitter setup for the video. And... Um, yeah, it's something I've loved. I'd love to have seen in one of these combat games and these first-person shooter games. They literally have a flare knock-up, so essentially a pingable thing. It's the same as actually being able to put a, um, a sensor away around you and just go, bing, bing, there's one right next to you. But actually have a voice tell you that instead. I'm on board with it. So your tactical move that you have is into the void, reposition quickly through the safety of the void space, avoiding all damage. Literally, it's the ghost step. Like So many characters have used this before. It works really well. Um... Essentially allows you to get out of combat as well as into combat, but it really should be designed probably to sneak up on somebody and ruin them if you got the chance. Um, also, if you know somebody's about to come in on you from voices of voices from the void, it allows you to ghost out and come back just as they arrive to where they thought you were. <laughs> you know, just go like, ah, fuck you, I was right behind you the entire time. And then Dimensional Rift, uh, teleport between two portals for 60 seconds. I honestly hoped there would be a void bomb. I thought that whenever I looked at this character, I was going like, void grenade. Why, why, why wouldn't you use like a literally void grenade which sucks enemies into a place or holds them in place for a certain period of time? But no, nah, it's actually you use a teleport. So it's a, it's for traversal, which is grand. That, that, that's understandable. But I would say, they, do you know why they start patching these games and changing out characters and giving them a restructuring how they're used? I think she should be a much more actively um, flanking and assault character. And teleportation is a teleportation from point to point, especially for only for 60 seconds really feels like a support move that shouldn't be on one of your assault characters but that that that, 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 that that's that's my opinion i'm i don't know shit we'll see how the meta goes for the game but uh, it, it just seems that the this the, that's on that's ripe for changing in the game's design on the character design but yeah that's this has been walking through wraith uh for the last 27 minutes these videos i hoped were going to be short i thought they were going to be like 15 minutes at most but the more I get into the characters, the more I see about them that actually, especially ones that are feel rounded out properly, I'm just getting more intrigued by the world of Apex Legends, and I want to actually play a bit more of this. I need to get through these as fast as possible so I can actually get to play the damn game. <laughs> but a couple more episodes like this to do over the next few hours. Hopefully you actually check them out whenever they're actually up on YouTube. If you enjoyed the videos, you have any thoughts, questions, or opinions on anything I've said, make sure to fire it into the chat underneath, or fire it into the comments underneath. You can do whatever you like, but um, make sure to be questions rather than uh, offensive statements of the fact that I know my voice is starting to go while I'm doing these, but I'm, I, I want to do them all as a batch, and I know it's just taking me so You can only talk for so long before you kill yourself. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, if you enjoyed going through these, please check out Apex Legends. It's available on many, many platforms. It's on PC, it's on Xbox, it's on PS4. And I actually look forward to seeing you guys in the next videos. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all the usual things that most YouTubers say to you whenever a video ends. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, uh, then there'll be boxes popping up everywhere. It'll actually tell you about all the things you can check out, including the playlist that has the rest of the videos. Go check them out if you've been enjoying these so far. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.